Okay, in this tutorial, I'm just going to kind of show you this simple animation for starters. And this tutorial is more like a, uh, it's kind of a test, it's a challenge for you to see if you can figure out how to do the same thing based on what I've just shown in the previous two, two, two tutorials. Two tutorials? That's kind of tough. Alright, so here what I have is my wind object. And instead of an icosphere, I have a regular sphere just because it's smoother rolling around the ground. It is bouncy. I'll give you a clue on this. So when, if you want to make this bounce, over on the physics tab, I have cranked up the bounciness to 1. And also, for the plane itself, I've cranked it up. Because if I turn this down in here and I just run this animation like this, you'll see that it doesn't bounce very well. So that has to be cranked up as well. I had it like 7.5, somewhere in there. So... There it goes bouncing like this. I think I have, I'll crank it up like maybe 0.79. We'll see if that. It... Okay, so that bounces pretty well. And so then you can see the wind here still has the keyframes on it like this. You can see it's changing as it goes, right? And then it just so the wind blows into the ball and blows into the structure and knocks it over. Now, one of the things to notice is that, just so you know, th this is on layer 1, the wind is on layer 1, and these are on layer 1. I'm just giving you all the clues. And then also, this will come into play later with collision groups. So different rigid bodies can affect each other if they're on their own group versus layers in here. Layers would be for like these effects, force field effects. But the groups are for the rigid body collisions itself. But the point is that in here, they're on, uh, let's see, yep, for this one, that rigid body is in that group, and all of those are in group one. So there's the clue, but now, so your goal is to try and simulate the same effect. And there's no keyframes, you'll notice on the sphere, it is not set to animated, because it's, so it's not a keyframe effect. What I wanted was to use the wind to blow the ball into the building and so you're it's a challenge I'm challenging you to try and simulate the same effect and then I'll come back to it you know several tutorials th down the road and I'll I'll tell you how I did it and it's kind of I'm just hoping you can try and figure it out on your own okay because sometimes things aren't quite so obvious and you have to kind of fake the system out I mean that's what a lot of animation is it's all about trickery you know in some cases okay well that's it for now and I'll see you in the next video